When talking about age, we usually tend to think of 50 or 100 years old or maybe of Maria Brañas from Spain who is the recently recorded oldest living person having lived 116 years and 346 days. Or you may think of Juan Vicente of Venezuela who is the oldest man known for living 114 years and 262 days, wait, why do women live longer, story for another day. Today we are diving into the age of the earth. Scientists have scoured the earth searching for the oldest rocks to radiometrically date. Researchers know that rocks are continuously recycling, due to the rock cycle, with the oldest rock discovered in Australia containing minerals dating back to 4.3 billion years ago, they were not satisfied that was the oldest rock, and continued to search for data elsewhere. During the moon landing, the rocks that were collected dated back to 4.4 billion years, this was done because the Earth and the Moon may have been formed at similar times. However, the oldest materials were collected from a meteorite that crash-landed on the Earth's surface, which was found to be 4.543 billion years old. The question that arises however is, how did researchers determine these numbers? There were several methods used but here we're going to look at the two dominant methods used, one is through stratigraphy, which compares the configuration of rock layers in relation to each other. This technique can reveal which layers are older and how events may have happened in the right sequence. There are however inconsistencies with it, due to rock bending and rearrangement. Nevertheless, this technique gave scientists an approximation that Earth was likely billions of years old. The second method is radiometric dating which involves studying the decay and breakdown of radioactive elements. The isotopes of unstable radioactive elements decay to more stable elements in a predictable amount of time called half-life, which is the amount of time required for exactly half of a quantity of a radioactive element to decay. Using this technique, it became possible to determine the actual age of the Earth. This method however has its inconsistencies, rocks are constantly changing between forms, also, old rocks become destroyed as they slide back into the Earth's mantle, to be replaced by newer rocks formed by solidified lava. However, these evidence provide the most accurate information as far as we know or until an older rock is discovered. 